good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Kathy Brooks for LUTG Radio, and it's Friday, TGIF. It's 6 a.m. in the morning, amen. I was about to say crack a donut, but uh, it ain't the crack a donut no more. It's daylight, full <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, so, today is uh, June 7, 2013. I got here quick, didn't it? To God be all the glory, the honor, the power, the praise. Okay, I'm so excited about something I saw last night. You're like, what are you excited about? I'm excited because I was asking God about something. About um, about what he wanted. I saw, I was watching Steve Harvey yesterday and he was giving us three pointers on how to get things from our men. And I was like, hmm, okay. Anytime I hear something from a man... Especially from a man that's saved, I automatically figure it comes from God. <laughs> I figure God gave him sort of some sort of revelation. So, you know, so I figured I'd try it out. But anyway, um, what I was thinking, what I what I was asking God is, you know, what do you want? You know, I was asking him about salvation and things like this. And um, what was explained to me revealed to me was uh the one thing God wants is salvation he wants he he wants us to uh not just be saved and to walk in faith but to save others you're like oh Kathy that's not a revelation if you hadn't seen it the way I saw it you'd be like wow but he, he truly that anybody anytime you want to give a gift to God give him the gift of loving somebody, of, of you, of loving yourself enough to walk with him. Meaning, you gotta love him. In order to walk with him, you gotta love him. So every action that you do, everything you do in your life, should should really be a blessing to him. So whether you greeting somebody in the morning, or whether you know you helping somebody, or whether you just living your daily life, doing things in private, it should really be something where he can walk in a room and be okay with it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. And so, and he wants the way you, the way you love him, and the way you love yourself should be the way you love others. So you really cannot love anybody unless you love God first, then you, then them. So I hope that helped for you. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Hallelujah. I was just blessed. All right, y'all. So here comes the scriptures. I'm a little, uh, I got a little mucus thing going on here because I really needed to sneeze over the past few days and now it's starting to come. And I'm appreciative, so I ain't, I ain't even complaining. Just letting you know I'm not crying. It's because I was sneezing. Oh, pardon me. <coughs> doing that in your ear. Sorry. Right. So let's get this going here. Glory to God. Remember to put the scriptures before your eyes daily. Amen. 11, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him 
should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Mark 9, 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Psalms 147 and 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. John 16 and 13. Howbeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you unto all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It makes me want to break out in tongues. All right. Um, good morning, Jehovah. Hallelujah. That's my Ruah. Mwah. Good morning, Jesus. <laughs> good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. We hear from you, Lord God, and I lay it by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you, Lord, for our comforter, the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We should keep your word in our hearts and minds. We should love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you. You know what? Hold on. Okay. This is the, here's the other part of that, uh, of salvation that I did not tell you. And I should have told you with that. Uh, Jehovah, which I said before, is the Savior of Jesus. Jesus is the Savior of man. And the word Jehovah means I am that I am. I am the first and last. I have no Savior. So, remember that the power that we get is from God and he gives it to us and he gives us revelations to um, use it but the, the power is salvation the power is salvation because with, without it you can't even come before him he can't even trust you without salvation alright uh, okay we hear from uh, we uh, the tank Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against me, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain that's moved. And every closed and blocked door that has hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God decreasing hell and expanding heaven jesus we love you and believe in your saving grace thank you lord for every soul and every person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of jesus christ receiving jesus into their hearts and living to glorify god we are healed in our bodies and minds <clears throat> any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly the addicted are delivered now the hungry hunger no more our shoes are replenished and resources are never exhausted for you, Lord Jehovah, our husband made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow to good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease in unbelief in our minds and life. No weapon is formed against us shall prosper. Pardon me. We are blessed to be a. We are, but we are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love. Not subject to temptations, submitting to your will, receiving your blessing. In the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh Lord and Savior, for we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth every. Among the redeemed people of God, God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are the created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to uh, live according to God's world, the one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of God. 
in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails above and not beneath, going forward and not backwards and beloved. And the sign of God will count it all joy when we go up against a giant. We ask God for his wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We ask God. We as God's people stand on the word of God and only believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us his people health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is to achieve that manifest in the earth among the redeemed people of achieve the manifest in the earth, in the earth in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor in the name of God, risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples in John 14 and 12, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also in greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. Amen. Remember, do not take, um, do not say that any power that you have or any talent or skill is of your own doing. All that you have is from God. When you say that your power and your strength is from you, uh, it is a serious enough offense for God in the Old Testament I can't remember I was just trying to remember this guy's name but when David had the uh, he had the ark and he had it on the hill and they the priests were bringing it down and the uh, I believe it was the king he had reached it the, the priest had slipped a little bit and the king had reached in his arm to uh, in front of the ark to uh, steady the priest and uh, he was taken. He 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 died immediately because he was using it. It was it was as if it, it was as if he was saying, "Oh God, I will hold them up," meaning they they will stand by my strength instead of by God's strength. And God is saying, "Hey, I can steady them. I don't need you to do that." Meaning God is not God is not bound by our strength. We are bound by His strength. So never say that your strength is from you. Your strength is from God. Never claim that you don't need God and that you are independent of him. You are independent within him. But you you are never alone. All right? So I, hope I, uh, I pray that you receive that as uh, God intended it to be heard. Amen. And know that Jesus, he is Lord. He loves you. We got the altar call coming up in the uh, last five minutes of this segment. Up first, Praise With All by Willie Coleman. Let's get our praise on, y'all. It's all right to give him praises. He loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. sounds Lord lift those hands and say one more time all over this room tonight you are Awesome. 
There's nobody greater than you, Lord. You are Lord. And Lord, you are awesome. So we pray.
never shall believe God will save and set you free For God's beloved Son He hung upon a tree And took upon Himself The sins of you and me Humbly suffering In dreadful agony He cried, My God Why have you forsaken me? Yes, upon that tree Son's holy life, that atoning sacrifice, so you and I can cry, I'm a father, tell me why, have you so blessed me? Jesus came into this world, this world that was made through him, King of kings and Lord of lords was he. Jazz by H.L. Stein. That was John 316, the gospel of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. You can get his music at rrradiomusic.com. When I first heard that song, I was like, oh, wait. Hallelujah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Amen. I want to play it again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only, look, John 3, 16, that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. To God be glory. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus loves you, beloved. Oh, my goodness. I pray that you may come to understand how much God loves you. This is not about separating Jesus from Jehovah or Jehovah from Jesus because you really cannot separate the two. Jesus is of the blood of God. His blood is God's blood. He is God's son. You cannot separate the two. You can't have one without the other. 
They are a beautiful package deal. And the Holy Spirit along with it, which is the mind of Christ, package deal. You got the three all in one. You hear some people saying, oh, where is the Trinity in the Bible? Well, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Ego. You cannot separate them. When you, when it's your time to meet Jesus, I pray that you're, you're judged for righteousness and not judged for sin. I pray that you will know before it's too late that Jesus really is your best friend. That he really died on the cross for you. Your salvation is not just because of the words you speak. It really isn't. It's not because you got a lot of money. It's not because you go out and instead of working, you go out and tell people about Jehovah and tell them, oh, you believe in Jesus, but you skip Jesus altogether. Remember, Jehovah is the savior of Jesus and Jesus is the savior of man. That is why you cannot leave Jesus out. You cannot discount him. His blood was thrown upon the altar. His body was beaten and pierced and poked for you. He went down into hell and God the Father raised him out. See, they're a package deal. They did it together. It is by God's strength that Jesus was able to get up on that cross, take the beating, without speaking, without going, without leaving the order of God. Jesus was strengthened by his Father. Understand that they are a package deal. So receive Jesus. When you receive Jesus, you receive the Father. Receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior right now. Let him know you love him by, by letting him know that you believe in him 100% and you want to have Jesus in your life. You want Jehovah. Repeat this prayer confession. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment. Jesus, I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. To God be all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. Congratulations. Go to Facebook.com forward slash L-U-T-G Radio 247. Click on the link. Find the church. Get baptized with water. Baptized in the Holy Spirit. Take the foundation class and the prayer intercessory class. Follow me to segment number two, which is my peace. Amen. Coming up in less than five.